children you know you'll have to use different strategies with different children because there are children with learning disabilities there are children with um hyperactivity there are introvert children you know um so different strategies will work with different kind of children now um mm-hmm. you know one is about the eating you know about the eating habits as toddlers when we uh, i suppose you have all heard about baby led weaning when you have to start um giving in solids to your food when should they start eating by themselves you have all had classes on all these things so you must be knowing it so um be careful how you implement the eating strategies at home is one thing then the next thing would be discipline now coming to discipline it's 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 actually very simple you know how would you hold uh, some water in your hands you know you won't hold it too tight right the water will leak away and you can't hold it too loose again the water will slip off your hands so the best strategy would be to hold it nicely right uh without being so tight and without being so loose so that's the same thing with discipline you know it depends upon each child so you can try out different strategies that's what is the best you no know? try out different strategies with your child and um stick on to one that is uh that is working out for your child okay uh, and then something that you can implement this you know um involving the children in household chores irrespective of the gender like even if it's a boy or a girl a uh, child whatever it is from the early age maybe from um, age of 2 uh, 3 you can start involving the child you know after play they are supposed to keep their uh, toys uh, back to the place in the early stages you can help them and then later on let them do it themselves any gender let them start doing their daily chores that will make them more individual and um, you know they will uh, be able to respond to your strategies easily when you start um, making them uh, you know feel independent and individual actually the children the you know they always like to be like us you know we are their role models and they want to be like us so when they see us we are all independent doing our things they also want to be like us so give them a space where they can do their individual things and then you don't go complaining about it uh, don't make mess about it but uh, just be with them so that um, they grow into good individuals who are responsible okay that is one thing that you can do and then again uh, regarding the study strategies also you can uh, try out different strategies and make them realize that you know um ask them to chop out their own plants every day you can ask them you know what time would you want to study what time would you want to play let them tell it to you so that uh, they become more involved and when they become more involved um they will do it naturally okay and then uh, coming to the um, conflicts that happens at house and then the tantrums that the children throw all around that is also one thing uh, i think toto has been uh, dealing with these tantrums and all so in this area the one thing that you have to remember is that you know the children are just growing up they just uh, socializing they're learning the process of socialization so they're not grown adults who have balanced emotions the emotions are really unbalanced and they are uh, identifying the emotions you know they're just finding out their boundaries by crying by throwing up tantrum you know all what we have to do is we have to learn some patience be with them you know it might be difficult but you know uh, keep your uh, lips tight and then um, wait till the children finish their tantrums and then you can go back to them and then you can explain uh, to them what's happening so that they learn to identify their boundaries and their emotions okay